Okay. Oh, sorry I lost you. So. That was the employee entrance, staff entrance. Okay, so part two. This is going to be a lot of parts. There's all kind of secret doors and stuff and shit, but okay. I just want to see what this says. Apparently it's Roman, just like this one. Okay, let me keep it moving. All right, so this is just like a hallway, which leads into the grand courtyard. And there are benches like this everywhere. The people must have been tiny to be able to sit on that. It's so narrow. But I guess it lifts up and you can store stuff in there. Oh, 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 okay, we'll go there next. So this is the grand courtyard and greenhouse. Absolutely amazing. One of the many fountains that have been built into by this guy. Oh my god, look at that. That is like a huge sea sponge. Looks like a big old brain. There's two or three of them. Somebody dropped a bobby pin on that one. Okay, so these are considered sacred fountains. And I think I need a bit of sacredness in my life. So they would have parties and just hang out up there and probably dance down here. And see, so that's where I came in the entryway. Is that a pineapple? Okay, so now I'm going to pause so I can listen to my audio about the next section. Okay, so I just listened to the audio story about this courtyard. Apparently those are veterans up there and 
this used to be open air. There was no glass up here at one time. The sun just came out. So that glass is new. But they didn't have air conditioning back in the day. They only had electricity. So they would have their guests over to watch movies. Some major film company back then would send him five films at a time. And he would come in here and watch the movies under the open air sky. So that's the story of the courtyard. And okay, so 30 staff, what they did was um, all this, taking care of the plants, removing mold, setting the clocks, which there are many, many of in here, and cooking and all that. I can't wait to take you into the, the kitchen area. But now we are going into what is called the Enchanted Room. This would be like, I guess, um, you know how people have a living room in their homes that, that they don't sit in. It's just for show. So this is the equivalent of that. to the enchanted room. Here we go. Let's get enchanted. It's said in the audio tourist thing that there is white silk furniture in here for the guests to sit on and look at the gardens. This is um, very uh, Greek and Italian inspired. Most of this stuff came straight from Rome and Greece. As well as the artists that painted the murals. I mean, just the ceiling itself is a feat in itself. I have to learn the story of these uh, dancing ladies. There's something about that as well. about the bovine skulls as well. Okay. Italian marble. I doubt they 
ever use. Here in Miami. <laughs> My favorite part is the gardens. I can't wait to get out there. It might take me a while because I need to learn some of the history before I move around in here. Okay. Um, okay, so now we're going into the we are going into the staff kitchen well like half kitchen they use the dummy waiter to the real kitchen this is like a, I guess for um, entertaining in the courtyard and such and then here uh, they didn't have refrigeration, but they used salt and ice mixed together to keep things cold. So they were one of the very few people in that time to have cold, cold drinks and cold food. These are all original paintings and doorknobs and light fixtures and keyholes. You're not supposed to touch anything. I haven't touched anything except for the water and the fountain in the courtyard. So yeah, I guess it would take 30 people to every day to take care of this place. Because think about the, the mold, like back then, um, there's no air conditioner. So I'm sure the mold was out of hand. Another reptile. Okay. And the desk alone would need two people. Ten hours at least, I'm sure, a day. Even the fixtures, like the ventilation system, is still original. It's freaking amazing. That's real gold leaf they painted with. More Italian marble. Oh, we're ready for the others going up. For the grand fireplace. Lucy horses in America. I don't know who's counting. Are we almost all in? Okay. Uh, the 
Sunday. 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 Sunday.